Hi, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, basically we will discuss about data types. What are the data types are available in PostgreSQL? The column once we are creating in a database table, we have to define a particular column which data type data to be inserted in that particular column as in a row data. Let's start the session. We'll discuss about uh, data types, very basics, and what are the most popular requirements in supports in PostgreSQL. Now see here that the overview of the PostgreSQL data types are Boolean, character, types such as char, varchar, and text, numeric, types such as integer, float, and a floating point number, temporal types like date, time, and timestamp, UUID for storing universally unique identifies and array for storing universally unique uh, like a uh, array for storing array strings number etc which is an array data type like a group of list of data we can store into a simple column and json stores the json data and json objects and hstore stores the key value pair and special types of network like network addresses mac addresses geometric data will be stored in that particular data type of column we'll see one by one in more detail here the boolean data type values can be true either t as an indicates in a true or f is an indicating as in a false and zero one it can be treated either as you were convenient to use either you forward it's in a t f or else zero one true false and the characters in PostgreSQL, there are three character data types are available in PostgreSQL. That is char and varchar and text. Char is a fixed length character with a space padded. A particular, if you are specified of fixed length like a 100 or 200, it will be padded with the space and accumulated the space from the database table. That particular column will be padded that space. Whereas if you are using varchar, the variable length the character string you can store up to n characters there is a no length limitations you can specify n number of characters you can store by using varchar and also here also varchar you can specify the length of the column and text this is also a variable length string of text data only it can be eligible to enter into the column all right, these are the very pretty basics and strongly required for to write a query or creating a database schemas and database structures and all. Now, numeric data types. So, integer, there is a two type of integers are there. One is small integer and another one is integer. The small integer is a two byte signed integer that range is negative 32,768 to 32,767 is a positive number. The range only it will be taken. The number in the integer, if it is in a, within the range only, if it is interacting with that particular column, you have to choose in a data type of that particular column is in a small integer. And normal integer, we can also say that it's in a big int. And similarly, four byte integer that has in a range iPhone like a 21 lakhs 47,483 to like um, crores, it's not lakhs, I'm sorry, it's a crores. And uh, see to the range it has specified here. Two comma 147 comma 483 comma 647. This is the range of the characters in the negative way to positive way. Within the range, the integer will take care about the number. And a serial is the same as integer, whereas Postgres will automatically generate and populate a value of that particular serial data type. Like uh, we have an RDBMS database is most popular, like uh, MS SQL, MySQL, there is an auto increment column is there. On every row, the number will automatically increment by plus one or plus two or whatever it, the range what we have given. By default, it is in a plus one only. And uh, here in this PostgreSQL database, there is in a serial data type is there. Once you have defined as in a column name ID, and a data type if you have chosen as in a serial, 
it will be taken care rest of the things and floating point number is a decimal point value like 10 comma 2 or indices uh, like a 200 comma dot 20 or 10 comma 3 if you have given up to three levels it will show you after the decimal points likewise the floating point value it will be taken care the temporal data types that is on a date stores the dates only time stores the date time of the day only time step will be date and time value as a whereas interval stores the periods of the time in the data types you see here is an array stores a array of strings array of integers of a particular single column it will be stores a group of data a group of list items we can simply say that and json data simply you can make it as a json format and store into a simple single column only and uuid universally unique identifiers like serials and id values will be stored over here and special data types we can say that box as in a rectangle box line as a set of points and a point a geometric pair of numbers and leg is a line of segment polygon a closed geometric and inet is an ip address of version 4 address by default if you have chosen is an inet a data type and it will be taken as an ip address of uh, four octets it automatically creates and stores the data mac address is in a mac address of your system when the client is accessing you are receiving the mac address of the client machine you can directly store into this particular transaction column i hope you very clear this all basic for data types in postgres which is uh, supports basic as well as advanced data types thank you for watching this system thank you